Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this horn stoop knit loop scarf. And it's a long scarf, you can alter it to the size that you want. You can make it shorter, you can make it wider. And the stitch pattern is really easy to grasp, so let that not intimidate you. I also have a written pattern on the blog and the paid pattern on Etsy and my online shop. So be sure to check those out as well. Now let's just jump over to the video. For this tutorial, you're going to need yarn. The yarn I'm using here is Winter King. I'm using it in, in these two colors, just so you can see what I'm doing instead of working with a black yarn when we are starting the stitch. So you're going to need it in two colors, depending on the colors that you want to use in your scarf. You'll need a darning needle, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, and a pair of scissors. So the yarn I'm using is a mid, is a lightweight yarn or a size 3 yarn. So you can substitute it with any size 3 yarn that you have around. To begin, you're going to take the darker shade of yarn and then make a slip knot. Insert your hook. So for the scarf, I started with a foundation chain of 56 chains. You can do that or you can chain any multiple of six plus two chains. So for this one, I'm just going to chain 26 and then I'll meet you in row one. So when you throw away your foundation chains after chaining 56, if you're working with the exact measurement that I used for my scarf, you're going to yarn over, skip the first two chains, and then on the third chain, you're going to work a double, sorry, Skip the first three chains. So the first three chains will act as your first double crochet. And then on the fourth chain, you're going to work a double crochet. Then double crochet in each chain all the way to the end. So when you reach the end, you should have a total of 24 double crochets. This one is including the first chain three as a double crochet. So continue when you through, we'll turn to row two. So I went ahead and finished my row one. I have a total of 24 double crochet stitches. And then for row two, I'm going to chain one, then turn my work. Then I'm going to work a double, a single crochet. I'm using US term, so I'm going to work a single crochet in the first stitch. Then chain two, skip the next stitch, then single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, Skip the next stitch and in the next stitch you're going to work a double crochet. Then double crochet in the next two stitches. So you have three double crochet stitches. Then chain two. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. Skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next three. Chain two, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, Skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next three stitches. So we're going to repeat that. Chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet, sorry. Then chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next three until you have five stitches remaining at the end of your work. When you have the five stitches remaining, you're going to chain two, then skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the last two stitches. So you're going to work a double crochet in this second last stitch. Then remember the chain three counted as our double crochet. You're going to double crochet in the third chain on the last chain three. But do not finish this one because you're going to attach our new yarn on the last part of this last double crochet. 
So when you have two loops remaining on your hook, you're going to pick the next color. Then finish off with that new color. Mark your last, the last part of that double crochet. So to close this or to avoid having a gap, you're going to pass over your previous color above the new color, then continue with your work. So for row three, you're going to chain one, then turn. So for row three, you're going to start by working a single crochet in the first stitch, then single crochet in this next stitch. Then you're going to work a double crochet in this skip stitch here below. So yarn over, insert your hook in that skip stitch, two rows below. Yarn over, pull through. Then yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the last two. So that's our double crochet. Then work the next double crochet in this single crochet stitch. And finish a double crochet in this skip stitch down here. Then you're going to work single crochet in the next three stitches. So place a single crochet in each stitch. Then double crochet in the skip stitch, double crochet in the single crochet stitch, double crochet in the next skip stitch. Then single crochet in the next three stitches. Then yarn over, double crochet in the skip stitch. So that's the pattern repeat. We're going to single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. And then when you reach the chain two space, you're going to go down in the single in the stitch that you skipped, work a double crochet, then double crochet in the single crochet stitch. And then double crochet in the next skip stitch. Then go ahead and work a single crochet in the next double crochet stitches. So repeat that all the way until you reach the end of your row. If you reach the end, you'll have this space here. Work a double crochet in the skip stitch, double crochet in the single crochet stitch, double crochet in the skip stitch. Then you're going to work a double crochet in the single crochet stitch here. Then chain one and turn to row four. So our row four, we're going to use our second color. Start by working a double crochet on this double crochet stitch. So I like working with chain list double crochet, though you can just chain two and go to the next three stitches but I prefer working with a chain list, double crochet. So you'll chain one and turn. Then double single crochet in the first stitch. Then you're going to insert your hook in between the single crochet stitch. Then work another single crochet. Then double crochet in the next two double crochets. The next three, sorry, so double crochet in each of those double crochet stitches. Now we have one, two, three, four double crochets. Then you're going to chain two, skip the next single crochet stitch, and in the next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, skip the next stitch, and work double crochet in each of these three double crochets. Then chain two, skip the chain, skip the single crochet, then single crochet in that second stitch, chain two, skip the next single and double crochet in each of the double crochets. Okay, 
chain two, skip the single crochet, single crochet in the second stitch, then chain two, skip the next stitch, work a double crochet in the next three double crochet stitches. So you're going to repeat that all the way until you reach the last two stitches then you're going to chain two skip the next stitch and work a single crochet in the last stitch but before you finish off that single crochet we're going to drop our current color and pick the previous color finish off with that single crochet then pass the previous color above the new color this is optional you don't have to do it but I prefer to do it just to lock that previous color. Then chain one and turn your work. And for row five, you're going to start by working a double crochet on this single crochet stitch. So I prefer working the chain list double crochet. So I'll insert my hook, work a single crochet, then insert my hook in that single crochet and work another single crochet just to give it height. Then I'll double crochet in the next skip stitch down here. Then single crochet in the next three stitches. And then double crochet in the skip stitch, double crochet in the single crochet, double crochet in the next skip stitch. Then single crochet in the next three stitches. When you reach a chain to space, you're going to work a double crochet in the skip stitch down below, double crochet in the single crochet stitch, and double crochet in the next skip stitch, then single crochet in the next three single crochet stitches. So you repeat this all the way until you reach the last four single crochet stitches. Until you reach the last four double crochet stitches, then place one single crochet in each of those four double crochets. So you reach the end of row five, we're going to turn your work, chain one and turn your work. Then you're going to repeat our row two pattern. So remember in row two, we started with a single crochet, a single crochet in the first stitch, then chain two, skip the next stitch, then single crochet in the next stitch, chain two, Skip the next stitch, then double crochet in the next three stitches. So repeat row two all the way to the end. So at the end of row six, you shall have your last two stitches as two double crochets. Then at the last double crochet here, you want to turn to our next color. So don't finish it off, just bring this color and finish off that last double crochet. Then turn your work. So for this next row, you're going to work, you're going to repeat our row three pattern, which was single crochet in the first two stitches. So chain one, then single crochet in the first stitch, and the next stitch. We are basically repeating our row three pattern. Then work a long double crochet on this stitch down here. Double crochet in the next single crochet stitch. Then double crochet in the next stitch below that chain two space. Then single crochet in the next three stitches. So for the rest of this row, you're going to work a double crochet in the skip stitch below the chain two space, double crochet in the single crochet stitch, then double crochet in the next stitch below the chain two space, then single crochet in the next three double crochet stitches. Double crochet in the skip stitch, double crochet in the single crochet, double crochet in the next skip stitch, 
and single crochet in the next three stitches. Repeat that when you reach the end. I'll meet you when you're working on these last three stitches. The last four stitches, sorry, not three. So when you reach your last four stitches, you're going to work a double crochet in the skip stitch, then double crochet in the single crochet stitch, then double crochet in the next skip stitch, and a double crochet in the very last single crochet stitch. And chain one and turn and for the next row we're going to repeat our row full pattern so work a double crochet in the very first stitch so you're going to work a chainless double crochet so like a single crochet then insert your hook in that single crochet going through these two loops on this your left hand side work another single crochet in that then double crochet in the next three stitches. And you're going to chain two. Skip the chain one, skip the single crochet, not chain one, skip the first single crochet stitch, and single crochet in the next single crochet stitch, then chain two, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next three double crochet stitches. Chain two, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next single crochet stitch, then chain two, skip the next single crochet stitch and work a double crochet in the next three double crochets. So that's our pattern repeat for this row, just repeating our row for pattern. After working the three double crochets, you're going to chain two, skip the next single crochet, then single crochet in the next single crochet stitch, chain two, skip the last single crochet stitch, and double crochet in the next three double crochets until you have your two stitches remaining at the very end. So do that, and then I'll meet you at the very end of your row. After working all through to the end of our row, you're going to work, you're going to chain two, then single crochet in the very last single crochet stitch and since we've already worked two rows of our second color we're going to change to our first color so you're going to work two rows of every color and then you change so drop this then pick the next color then over pull through those last two loops then you're going to chain one and turn your work so the next row we're going to repeat our row five so our row five pattern was we started with a chainless double crochet you can just start with chain two if that is what you're comfortable with you don't have to start it with a chainless double crochet or any chainless double crochet method that you prefer and then after working your double crochet in the very first stitch you're going to work a double crochet in this skip stitch down here and single crochet in the next three double crochet stitches. Then double crochet in the skip stitch below, double crochet in the single crochet stitch, double crochet in the next skip stitch below the chain two. And the pattern repeat is single crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. Double crochet in the single crochet stitch below the chain two, double crochet in the next stitch, and double crochet in the next hip stitch below the chain two, and single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. Repeat that all the way to the end of your row, ending it with single crochet in the very last four double crochet stitches. So that's the end of our row nine and the pattern repeat for this scarf is four row repeat. So you're going to repeat row two, three, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, eight, nine. It's a it's a four row repeat. 
So do that, repeat those four rows until you have a total of 292 rows or until your scarf measures approximately 98 to 100 inches in total. Yeah. The length of your scarf should measure 98 to 100 inches or until you have those 292. If you want a shorter scarf, you can shorten the length of your rows. Just make sure that your last row ends on this row 5 pattern or row 9 pattern. So I'll meet you when I have those number of rows in my original scarf and then we can work on the border then finish our scarf. So I went ahead with my rows and I'm here on my row 293. I say 292, you should work until you have a 293 rows or end on this row 9 pattern or the row 5 pattern which is a an odd number of rows. So at the end of your row to 30, 293, we're going to start working on this border to hide these floats that we carried. So to do that, we're going to start on this side where we just ended our rows. So chain one. Then you're going to work a single crochet in the first row, the first single crochet row. Then two single crochets around this double crochet row. Two single crochets around the next double crochet row. Then we have a single crochet row here and another single crochet here. Please don't skip any. Just work a single crochet in the first single crochet row and a single crochet in the next single crochet row. Then two single crochet around the double crochet. A single crochet around the next double crochet. One single crochet around the next single crochet. And one single crochet around the next single crochet. So you're going to repeat that placing two double two single crochets around the double crochet rows and then one single crochet around the single crochet rows until you reach the end of this row then we will work the bottom border together then turn to the opposite side so this is how your work is going to look like when you reach the end of that side you're going to chain one and then turn to the bottom row chain one then start on this very fast double crochet stitch and work a single crochet. Then single crochet in each of those stitches all the way to the end. So repeat that until the end of the row. When we reach here at the very end, you're going to chain one. After working your last single crochet on this double crochet here you're going to chain one then turn to this other side place two single crochet around the double crochet stitch then two single crochet around the next double crochet then one single crochet around the single crochet stitches so place one in each then two around each of the black one around each of the white two around each of the black because they are double crochet stitches so repeat that also working over the floats. Remember, we're doing this one to hide these floats that we carried. So you're going to work over those floats all the way until you reach the end as well. So when you reach here at the very top, you can either chain and cut your yarn or work another row of single crochet here at the top. So when you're done with that, you're going to block your scarf and then that will be it. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, please stay safe. God bless you and bye. Also, feel free to check the written pattern that will be on my blog so that you can follow easily along with that.